Good morning, my lovely students. Your good morning back to me is always missed. Okay, today, before I start this chapter, globe, latitude, and longitude, I would like to show you a very different side of the globe during this COVID nineteen. You must have made. the diagrams of globe many times in your life but have you ever made the globe like this in the first picture the globe is sad and struggling with world wide virus battle in the second globe is taking precautionary measures by using mask against covid-19 in the third earlier the earth was coughing due to pollution created by human beings but from the time of covid-19 attacked us the earth is smiling the nature starts recreating itself as a conclusion of this picture is every coin has two sides and two sides of a story if one is destructive for human beings then the another is recovering of nature as well as safe for plants and animal life now let's begin with the chapter earth is a fascinating place to live in to know it better we need to find a true representation of it our earth is neither round nor a perfect sphere it is slightly flattened at the top and at the bottom to this shape we know as geoid the true shape of the earth as globe is a small model of the earth it help us to locate the directions distances and exact shapes of oceans and continents but not exactly as the map will help us we know that the earth rotates on its axis now what is this axis an axis is an imaginary line passing through the middle of the earth or passing through north pole to the south pole the tilted axis of earth is responsible for the phenomena of days and nights of different durations and occurrence of seasons on earth we will look at the picture of latitude first lines of latitude are imaginary circular lines drawn around the earth from east to west these lines are also known as parallels of latitude because these lines are parallel to the equator similarly lines of longitude are imaginary lines which runs in a north south direction from the north pole to the south pole these lines are also known as meridians of longitude passing through greenwich london as you can see 0 to 90 degree is marked as latitude and 0 to 180 degree is marked as longitude equator it is the longest latitude the equator is an imaginary line that divides the earth into two equal parts half of the earth lying to the north of equator is known as the northern hemisphere and the southern half is known as the southern hemisphere 
as the equator divides the earth the prime meridian also divides the earth into western and eastern hemisphere the parallels that you have just learned about the earth divides it into various heat zones the different zones have different types of climate and vegetation the first zone is torrid which means hot very hot this zone is the hottest zone lies between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn second the temperate zone temperate means moderate neither too hot nor too cold as the sun rays are always slanted these areas receive less heat and lies between the tropic of cancer and the arctic circle in the north and the tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle in the south the last the frigid zone the meaning of frigid is cold this zone lies between the arctic circle and the north pole in the northern hemisphere and between the antarctic circle and south pole in the southern hemisphere this zone never receives the direct rays of the sun and remains very cold throughout the year okay in the last before i end it right here i would like to give you some tips to follow against covid-19 across the globe like everyone is saying wash your hands wash your hands but when when you step inside your home before you eat any meal of the day after you go to the washroom and whenever you cough and sneeze so catch the sneeze bend the tissue and kill it and yes be alert and be ready to fight till then see you again in second part of the video